Yo, what's up guys, Rising here, and I just wanted to make a quick video because just yesterday, there was like a stealth patch for Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Uh, this hasn't been announced by Team Reptile or anything, and they haven't like given like notes or details about this patch yet, but I just wanted to showcase what they actually change in this patch because there's actually a few good changes here. So. If you look up your phone, you can see now that there's like indicators. Uh, the white uh, diamond one is the taxi spot over here. And then the white circles over here are the bathrooms, which was not there before in the previous patch. But now we actually have indicators for the, the taxi spots and the bathrooms. And there's also another chain. So we're going to go to the cipher here. If you scroll through the character select screen. You can actually see that they actually added Red Felix into the roster. And Red Felix was not playable in the previous patches but now they actually added him into the the cypher roster and now you can actually play as him which is really cool it, it felt kind of weird that we couldn't play him before especially after the end of the story but now we can just actually now we can just play as red felix now which is really great but i think one of the 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 best changes here is actually what they did with the music so beforehand you was not able to shuffle songs at all or like replay songs but if you go into the music section you can see at the top here we actually have this little toggle here for uh looping songs and if you move right with it you now have an option to shuffle songs and it will shuffle the bass songs randomly it won't follow like the set order like it does here it will be on a complete random shuffle which is fantastic and it will definitely help for post game stuff when you won't be having to hear the same old, the same old uh, mix every single time but even better so remember how there's always an autoplay like every time you go to a, a new level it always auto played to like the main default playlist every time you swap to a song but now you can actually swap to a song here and now when you go into a new level or any level now for that matter it will actually continue the song that you played from your phone which is something people have been asking for since release there's another change which i'm really glad that they added this now and this is gonna help for the post game so much so when you pause the game you can see now that there's a section called stuff and this is for the collectibles the graffitis the cds the gear now there's actually an indicator of how many of that stuff is within the level so if you notice that you're missing something in the level you can just pause the game now and you can see how much stuff that you have and thank you i'm so glad that there's now something to keep track of what you have or what you may be missing and it doesn't take away from the exploring it at least now you have a check mark about what you have to get left for each level in terms of collectibles i gotta say like these are some really great changes that were implemented because beforehand all of these all these features beforehand were just like mods created by other people but now we actually have these things implemented into the game now as quality of life changes i think it's really cool that team reptile added this and i i think they probably saw the mods people were making and decided to implement it on their own which is like 
really appreciate it. I'm really glad that these changes are now here in the game. Uh, hopefully soon, uh, we'll get like full patch notes of what exactly they changed. But the changes that I've been able to find out so far, these are really, really great changes. So I just wanted to give you all a quick video about the update for those who didn't know and you can it's probably updated for you now and uh if you don't have it make sure you update it on steam and this is a public beta test so make sure you opt in for the beta in the settings so thank you all for watching and take care